hey, 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 welcome back to another Prairie Sussurrets Farm Vlog. I'm Aaron, the Beef Baron, <laughs> and thank you for tuning in today. Well, weather is warming up. It is nice. The calves are dropping. We had three calves last night alone, but it's been a busy week at the ranch. One of our first time calvers, that's right, one of our heifers gave us a little bit of, uh, a little bit of sweat action. <laughs> I went out about 3.30 in the afternoon I noted, I noted I had a heifer in labor. Okay, no big deal. So I shooed her into the dairy barn, locked her up, fresh bedding, and monitored the situation. I came out a couple times, nothing was really progressing. <clears throat> Second last time, I noted there was one hoof. I couldn't see the other one, still wanted to give her a little bit longer. So given it's been about three and a half hours, I noted about six inches of one hoof. A single hoof presentation is never good and it's definitely not good with a first time calver because you don't know how she's going to pass that calf. So luckily my dad was around so we went out there and we got, we got down and we got dirty and we got her done. So I'm going to take you and show you how to correct a single hoof presentation whether you have a cow or a heifer whatever it may be. You got to go in there. In this case we had one hoof out, the other hoof was pinned back like that right at the joint you got to get that joint you gotta get the hoofs side by side we gently push back and you got to be surgical you don't want to nick anything inside the mom you got to be careful pushed it back pulled the hoof joint up and brought gently brought it out so all the movements are natural so you're not jamming the mother and or calf that's, that's still hopefully alive in the mother but this is an urgent matter and you gotta get that calf out. I'll tell you that much, she's not gonna pass it. You'll have a dead calf and possibly a dead cow or heifer if you don't correct it. So, Dan and I took care of business there and we're gonna show you exactly how to correct and deliver a calf with a single hoof presentation. We're also gonna show you the newest member of the Prairie Sister Ranch farm. It doesn't go moo, but let's just say it's woolly and it drives a guy crazy. So we've got a new baby lamb on the farm. I'm gonna introduce you to that little, uh, the little lamb. And uh, we got a few other shenanigans in between. So that's enough chit chat, Aaron. Let's pat her, pat her and get at her. Woo! Well, April just went and checked the first time caver heifers. And of course we have a single hoof presentation, which means we're going to have to help her out. So we're going to have to intervene and try to get the calf out. So wish us luck. I'll take you along. Well, we got the cattle puller. Hopefully we don't need it. I got myself a ratchet strap. I like to do it by hand if I can get both hoofs. Now for all your new people, if you're not subscribed or you haven't hit the thumbs up or the bell chime, kindly do it. Thank you for Prairie Sunset Ranch. I know, it's an awesome voice. Mastered it myself. Yeah, we got a single hoof presentation. Oh, 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 oh dad, don't, 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 dad. She's gonna crush me here. Here, good. Oh. No. Nope. No. Can't tell from here. Hello, girl. Hello. Hello. Hello, girl. Yeah, that's a big hoof, eh? The head is there. The head is there? Yeah, but. Just let me know if you want me to jump in here or just. Yeah. You want me to try to get that on there? The other hoof is nowhere. I gotta find out. I, it looks like it's coming out. It's got to be on the other side there on the left side right side. Sorry, you're right You 
You want me to jump in there, Dad? No. I just don't know if she'll get worked up. Let me try. Okay. Just let me know if you get tired. I'll jump in. Yeah. Is it? It's that far? Did you? Do you feel it at least? Yeah. You're past your. You're you're uh, halfway up your bicep. I know. Oh, that's a big, big hoof. I can see it now. Oh, I see his tongue. Do you want the ratchet strap to put around the ankle? No. Look at that, you got that hoof, eh? I got it. You got it. Reach, reach, reach. Yeah. The head. The head is good. It's big. Man. Just shine for now until I hook it. Okay. I'll do the pulling. Put that, pull that through so I can put it, yeah, so I can, yeah. So we're just getting the pulling okay. chain for around okay. the hoofs? Yeah. So dad went in there, he found the other hoof. We only had one presentation. We see the tongue, so we're going to get try to secure both hooves. Now she's moving around. It's not good. Tongue's right there. You just gotta get the top one. It's a little bit big, but we're gonna have to pull it, dead or alive. Well, I'm gonna try to pull it. Uh, I would like to get a ratchet strap on it, Dad. I think I could probably. Uh, I've done it before a few times last year, twice. I gotta try to pull this out a little bit more. Oh. oh, it should come. It should come. The tongue. Wait, wait, wait. Do, you, do you think you got it's, this box? They're, they're slipping, they're slipping, wait. Okay. Well, just help, do you want me to grab on? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if you got a good, <sighs> if you pull down, you know what, it's coming. She's, yeah, it's On it. the next time she pushes, if you pull, here. I got to get in there and help you. She might fall. Yeah. Well, you know what, open. Yeah. Wait, wait. Yep. Yeah. You got the, here, I'll give you the light. Yeah. Here, Dad. Okay. I got it. Okay. 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 It's coming. Yep. Yep. It's okay. You don't have Just to don't. jerk it all one time. I'm not. She's pushing. She yeah. Comes. Next time she pushes, I'm going to try to pull a little bit. I don't want her to step on me. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Don't worry about it. When you got the more pressure you put on her, the less she can move. Okay. We're, this is coming out. Yeah. The next push. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want her. Come on, girl. You're doing good. Oh, good. It's coming. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, come this way. No. What's that? You come this way. I'm trying. No, it's coming. Yeah. It's yeah. coming. Come this way. It's coming. Sideways or whatever. Oh, it's a big guy. Yeah, it's a big guy. I hope it's a big guy. I gotta get her. I just don't have room to go back anymore. <laughs> it's alive. Here, I got it. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Yeah, you're on it. Yeah, he's alive. That was a big pull, man. I'm gonna. Put him against the Yeah, fence. here, Dad. I got it. Put him against Yeah. The yeah. Well, he's okay. He, he wants to shake. That's good. Let, okay, get yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Let her, let her here, open this up for me, Pops. Okay. Open this up. Here we go. Yeah, we got, got the calf out, saved it. 
one leg back. That's how you manually hook up and pull a calf out. Well, you gotta straighten the leg out. You gotta find the other leg first. So dad went in there, found the other leg. I saw he was about halfway up to his bicep. He located, located the leg, put the chain around the one hoof, got it around the other hoof, and then we pulled. Uh, once he hooked it up, I, I said I would do the pulling. We, we were pulling manually, not with the puller, so he should be okay. But we really have to get out of here and let her do her job and yeah, relax. That's right. So good job, Dad. Thank you for the help. Mm -hmm. You did most of the work. These heifers are going to be fun to calve out. Well. That worked out well, to be honest. That's the best outcome you could have, what just happened. The calf had fairly big hooves. It was a pretty big calf. It was big for a first time heifer, for a first time calver, it was big. The problem we had there is we had one hoof presented and then so one hoof was out, the other one was tucked in. So dad went in, pulled that second hoof out. We then looped our chain around it. And that's when I came in to pull. And uh, luckily the calf had a small head. The head passed, no, no problem. So once we got past those two hoofs, we got to the head part. Uh, you don't just pull straight, right? You pull down naturally, like the birth canal, right? It's kind of curved. So you gently pull down, and I like using ratchet strap or the chain on just on the hoof so you have traction. Because generally, you're not gonna hurt the mother when you're pulling manually, unless you turn green and into the Credible Hulk, but I'm fairly gentle and you try to pull when they are pushing. So when you see them pushing, that's when you're gonna wanna start pulling back and down a little bit. And you know what? That was the best out it it outcome possible. So I'm, I'm expecting to find a calf sucking in the morning. We'll see. It's a good night. You know, it makes me a little concerned as to the size of this calf it was very it was fairly big um i know uh, same was the same with the other heifer calf that we had a few days ago she's fairly big too so for first time calvers luckily they seem to be like a little bigger group but i don't know i'm gonna really have to keep my eye on that crew so i'm gonna have to sleep with one eye open for sure now from now on until they're done and uh, have a shower and get this afterbirth off me. <laughs> and maybe have a beer, I think I earned it. Well, it is the next morning. We pulled that calf last night. So let's go see how uh, baby calf and mama are doing. Calf moved itself. Calf looks perky. I don't dare go there yet, I'll get trampled. So let all these girls out. Make sure there's no other calves. Wrong mom, buddy. It's the wrong mom. Let's go. Come on. Just check for other calves. I don't see any. All I see is a lot of poop to be cleaned. So let's go in here and see what uh, what's up with the baby. Hi, girl. Hello. You nice? You can see her feet. Her udders are nice and clean. They look wrinkled. Looks like she's got some milk. So we're just gonna get the cab up. Holy, she likes that thing. I don't know. I don't know if I trust you 100%, girl. You know, I'm gonna open this up. I don't wanna... She's acting a little goofy. I don't wanna open it up and lock myself in here with her. <laughs> See me all alone, so I'm gonna open this up. Her teeth look, udders look, uh, 
wrinkled up and cleaned off. So that calf was sucking. But I'm gonna get let her out so she can go get water and hay. And I'm gonna just leave the calf in there because she'll remember. I don't know if she's the type to leave him, but we'll see. Watch out. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Can I see your baby calf? Gotta keep my eye on her. I don't wanna. Let's just see how vigorous this calf is. Yeah, I'm not hurting your calf. I just wanna make sure. Let's get up, buddy. Just nudging it. Let's see if it wants to. See what its mouth feels like. Mouth is nice and warm. Went to the washroom. Big girl. And we don't need you in here right now. Let you go. That's not your baby. Take your baby, go outside. Yeah. We got this door open for her. I gotta come back and clean up this bloody place. Big stretch. No, uh, doesn't look super full, sides. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely not as energetic as the other calves we had. And uh, I just want to see if it has that sucking drive. If I can see it sucking, I'd be okay. Maybe it's not hungry, maybe it just nursed. Its mouth is nice and warm. Her teats do look cleaned off and wrinkled. Which tells me it was she was socked. He's moving around. She's moving around, sorry. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna check her behind. Hopefully I can see her passing urine or or pooping, so I know that she's uh, processing uh, uh, milk through her, but I, she sucked for sure. Um, my only concern is if she's producing enough milk for her, but it actually looks like all her teats, her udders are cleaned off, so that's good. We'll leave that gate open. We'll open, we'll let these girls out. I'm convinced that we're gonna be okay. And yeah, hey, baby calf's okay, so I'm good with that. Well, it is about uh, minus 17 out, minus 21 with the wind chill. So I uh, went and let the sheep out this morning, and I let the um, heifers out and the cows. Everything was fine, there was no babies anywhere. And I just got uh, out here for the second round to go bed up the barns and do all my checks again and there's a baby lamb. So I don't know how many lambs there are, but they were dropped in the last, <laughs> must be last two hours, hour and a half. Lamb's trying to suck. That's good. So I'm gonna make sure she's gonna come to the lamb, which she is, that's good. That lamb and her are bonded, that lamb ate, it's fat. What a good mama. Yeah, here mama, here mama, come on. Come on mama. Come on mama. Here girl, here girl, here. There we go. So we're gonna close this off and we're gonna give them a nice pin. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna make sure she has no wax on her teats or udders. So I'm gonna milk her udders, make sure there's no wax or milk buildups so the lamb can get milk. I'm sure it is though. For sure it's getting a nipple, but I gotta make sure they're all clear. Lamb looks great. Looks like mother got a little bit over excited when cleaning her, nipped her ear, but that's fine. It's not uncommon. So a lamb, when you have a new lamb, First and foremost, make sure all the lambs are accounted for. In this case, 
It's just a single. I'm quite confident in that. Number two, you make sure they're bonded. They're bonded, right? Number three, you got to check to make sure the lamb's doing okay. In this case, the lamb is dry to the touch. This thing is honestly a couple hours old. Is it laying right in the sun, out of the wind? Tells me it's a good mother. She's smart. So, they're going to be so happy when they get shorn once the weather warms up this year. As far as the baby goes, nice and Oh, warm mouth. Great sucking drive. Great sucking drive. Chewed my finger off. It's a nice little girl. Looks like it's had a poop. It's tummy. It's stomach. Feels very full. It's eaten. It's definitely eaten. There she's got her pail of oats. Water, hay. Flower Jammer's doing good. Just one second. I can't get enough of my first. Oh, I love baby lambs. There's nothing like a baby lamb on the farm. Hey. Hey. Hey there. What's your name? Hey. Uh... <laughs> You're sweet. You know what? Oh, look at that little guy. Going straight to work. Good. So, I don't know, for those of you who have sheep, who have experience with them, just goes to show how quick things happen. Um, literally within a span of an hour to two, probably two hours, went into labor, had the lamb, licked it off, it's nursed. Boom, I come out, do my next checks, there it is. So. That's why I'm so thankful for that bad weather to be gone because in this case you know you check everything every hour and a half two hours but it's uh it warmed up a lot you know minus 17 minus 21 with the wind chill will allow a lamb in the sun out of the wind to survive I'll tell you what if that was the case in minus 53 below in the wind no way i would have been late late at the date there for sure <laughs> well that's enough for today i'm somewhat tired so with that said this is aaron signing off we will catch you next weekend with an all new farm video i will be spiffied up and ready for action we will see you then <laughs> stay safe stay healthy cheers everyone see you next weekend bye for now